Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video, I'm making a Mexican street corn dip, all right? Football season's coming up. I'm gonna start a series of appetizers for football season. It's gonna be money, all right? Gonna put them uh, on the grill, gonna put them on the smokers, gonna cook it inside the kitchen, gonna go all over the place with these recipes, guys. It's gonna be money, stick around. First one's Mexican street corn dip, hang around. All right, guys, basic ingredients for this dip are going to be, of course, the corn. We're going to have some cilantro, three green onions, some hatch pepper cheese, some Mexican queso triple cheese, juice of one lime, butter, mayonnaise, sour cream, green chilies, chili powder, garlic powder, and cream cheese. I'll put a very detailed description of all the ingredients in the description below. Let's get started. Alright guys, our skillet is nice and hot. Going to start off with a tablespoon of butter. Put that down in there. Don't want it too hot that it will burn. So just running around real quick. I did spray the skillet with a little nonstick uh, oil. Some Pam. So that's where that's coming from. Alright, I got two cups of corn that we are going to toast. Alright. Like I said, we just want to, we want to toast this, we want to burn this. You know, another good way to do this is if you were out by the grill, and I was going to do it today with some corn on the cob, roast it on the smoker, roast it on the grill, get a good char on it. But man, it's 100 plus degrees outside, I just did not feel like doing that. But hey, you get the same flavor doing it this way. Just a little tip for those who don't have a grill, you can do it in the kitchen and come out with just as good results. All right, so let's get this browned up and uh, golden brown and then kind of toast it a little more. And when I get to that point, I'll bring you back and you can check that out. All right, guys, as you can see, it's got a nice toast to it. That's exactly what you want. Turn off this heat. It was on about a medium heat. And it took all of about 10 minutes to get there, okay? About 10 minutes, and that's what you want. Get that blackened little toastiness on there. And that skillet and that butter. All right. So, looks very good. We're going to go ahead and let this, I'm going to move this over, let it cool off for a little while. And we'll get it mixed with all the other ingredients, okay? Well, guys, apparently I had a microphone issue, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover for the rest of the video. All right. So we're starting with 12 ounces of cream cheese that I had softened up for a little while. I'm now going to add one third cup of Duke's mayo to this. I prefer Duke's, but it doesn't have to be. It can be any brand of your choice, Holman's or whatever. All right. Uh, we are next. Get this incorporated in here. Going to add a quarter cup of sour cream. Okay, now here's where I goofed. It should have been a full cup, all right? But it still came out really, really well. I, and I am gonna put the correct ingredients uh, in the description below. Keep that going, all right? All right, next I'm gonna add the juice of one lime, okay? I didn't have my little juice press, so I had to just do it manually and, and squeeze them as best I could to get as much juice out as I can. It was about a medium-sized lime here, so wasn't too bad. I uh, managed to get a good amount of juice out of both these uh, pieces. The acidity in here just bounces off everything really well as you can see. Alright, to this I'm going to add a uh, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next. Get that all going in there. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of dark chili powder. Okay. Get this all in there and move it around. All right, next step, we're gonna mix these ingredients up pretty good. Get them all incorporated in there. And as you can see, that cream cheese is really soft. Uh, it, it's really, really key to, to this. And most any recipes, we have to have that softened cream cheese. It's really best to get it as best as you can, softened as you can, okay? It does, it does make a big difference. 
get all that incorporated and turned in there really nice. It really helps out. All right, next I'm gonna start adding this corn and get this corn in here and I'm gonna do it in small batches, probably about, uh, well, I say small, maybe half and half at a time, okay? Get all that roasted corn in there and it's it's got that good char on it. it it's really, really got a good taste. And I said earlier, you know, you can do this on whole corn on the cob, roasted on the grill outside, but uh, this turns out just as good, especially if you don't have a uh, pit outside or you just want to do it inside the house, you know, like I did here. It's, it's really, really good. So get the rest of this corn in here and get it uh, all mixed together, stirred up, okay? Uh, also need to say that I did add, uh, set aside about a cup of this corn as a topping after it comes out of the oven we're going to put a little more of this corn on top but for now we're just going to get all this blended in here fold it over as lightly as you can you really you don't want to clump it or ball it up uh, that cream cheese is room temperature the corn is still hot it, it does matter all right to this we're going to add the four ounces of green chilies and this is just a can green chili it's a medium heat you can get the higher desired heat of your choice but uh, I like the medium, it, it just gets a good flavor to it. Uh, mix that around, get that all kind of incorporated and spread out again, okay? Next thing I'm gonna add is the shredded pepper jack cheese. It's a hatch pepper cheese. You can use any type of pepper jack, you can use a jalapeno cheese or anything like that you want. But this here is just a real good pepper jack cheese with hatch peppers from New Mexico. It's really, really good. Get all that folded in there as best as you can. Get it all going, okay? To this, I'm then gonna add diced green onion, okay? Get these little green onions in here. It's three of them actually chopped up, just a little going through there. And again, get all that uh, kind of stuck to the board there, but get it all in there and just kind of spread out and moved around as best you can, okay? Now, next step, I'm gonna chop up or add some cilantro. It's about a quarter cup that I've chopped and I've got set aside. I'm about to put that in there next. And uh, that cilantro is a really, really good flavor to it. If you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add it, but uh, it does uh, call for it and it's really, really, it's really good. Even after you bake it, you can't tell it's in there and it's, it's good, good flavor, okay. So coming up to this, I'm gonna get this in a eight inch casserole dish, okay? Uh, that I have uh, sprayed down with some Pam and some oil. Get all that going. So get the rest of this kind of stirred around, moved over. I am going to get my dish and move that over now. All right, here's the dish. Again, it's been lightly sprayed with some Pam Gonna go ahead and get uh, get this dip into this casserole dish. Get her mixed up and get her in there. You can see it's uh, come together pretty good. And it is actually gonna melt together and it's gonna be awesome. Just wait. Get this mushed around, kind of packed, lightly packed. You don't wanna push it down too hard, just evenly spread out and evenly layered as best you can get everything out of that bowl everything you can it's it's there get it out all right to this i'm going to add the final layer which is half a cup of pepper jack cheese okay just kind of get this sprinkled on top just so that melting goodness all right get all this on there now i've got the oven preheated at 350 degrees Gonna get the casserole dish in the oven for 15 minutes before we take it out and put our final dressings on it, okay? Get in the oven. We're out of the oven now, it's been 15 minutes. Gonna come back, and uh, as you can see, it's still kinda hot, which is okay. Gonna come back and add a corn, all right? The corn, reserved corn I had told you about half a cup. Just put that on top just as an appearance, but it actually adds to the first layer of flavor that you get on there. And you can put as much as you want. I have about half a cup. If you want to go back with a with a full cup or, or more, you can do that. It's just a 
kind of add it to the middle like that just for a, a good uh, appearance. Okay. So next to this, after we get the corn on here, get all that out of the way, I'm now going to add some more uh, green onion and cilantro. Okay. Cilantro is more there first. You can see there's a little piece of green onion there, but uh, that's that and get the final topping of green onions on the side. And again, this can be put as much or as minimum as you like. I've got about, uh, oh, not even a third of a cup there mixed together. All right. Now the final final is the Mexican cojita cheese. Okay. This is better fresh. I couldn't find it fresh. I already found it shredded and grated. So that's what I'm putting on there. And again, this is a final topping. It's meant to go like this, not melted. And it is uh, really, really acts a street corn flavor to your uh, dip. It's really, really good. And again, as much or as, as minimal as you want. But uh, I just went with the sprinkling. All right, again, my mic's not working, but I did give it a taste test here, as you can see. And it is, uh, it was really, really good. I mean, look at that goodness there on that tortilla shell. Chip. Yeah, buddy. You can tell he's enjoying it. Yeah, oh yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Grilled corn. Thumbs up. Can't go wrong with it. It's street corn flavor. Just like corn on the cob, but in a bowl or in a, in a dish. As a dip. Okay. Can't go wrong. Great appetizer. Really, really good. Football season is, is here upon us. And it's time time to throw down some good recipes again guys i'm sorry uh my mic wasn't uh, working correctly but uh trust me it did come out good and i'll get these bugs figured out the next video coming up appetizer video is coming it's football season it's here it's upon us and we're going to get some good good cooks coming lots of appetizers lots of good food as always and uh preferably and better get my mic working next time Guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate you. Catch you on the next one.